Hey, what's up everybody? Rod J here coming to you from my basement. And today is Saturday, which means another beer run day. Let's see what I end up picking up on this trip. Got a few different things here, although I don't need any more for the uh, basement. <sighs> Still picked up some. Luckily, they're not all staying with me. Let's check it out. All right, everybody. So here's a couple of the uh, boxes here from today out on the beer run. A couple other ones over here. Now, in these ones, there's only actually one four pack of beer. So I ended up picking up the Ryan Guy Striker, which is a limited edition Imperial IPA that they do. Actually, one of my uh, more favorite beers from Ryan Guy, so I wanted to grab that. Um, while it was still available. And it's actually the first year they canned them, so that's uh, nice in that, and I don't have to buy a bomber or anything. The other stuff in these boxes, because you know it's like I end up kind of coming across some of these deals, the place I went to get that at had these glasses, as you can see here, from different breweries. So this is from New Belgium, and initially it was uh, $2 a glass if you buy five, they were, five, they were a dollar a glass at that point, so you got five for five. And they pretty much told me to get as many as I wanted to, and they would just charge me a dollar for each glass. So here's one for New Belgium, which I don't have in my collection, so I'll throw that in there. Over here I have another one from Abedale, so uh, Green King. So we'll put that in the collection. I haven't seen any Green King as much here. I'll have to look for that a little bit more. Boulevard and their Rattlers, another one to be added. And then uh, I think that's the only three in that box, but in this box here, there's actually 12. So I got 15 glasses in total. That included here, this is, uh, look at the name on the label here. I don't know what it is. It's a dollar glass though, but it's a nice Pilsner glass. And, this one here, a nice one from Bad Tom, another one of our local breweries, so that'll be nice in the collection as well. And here's one from Sierra Nevada, so another nice glass. So I'm not going to go through them all, but you can see in the box all the different glasses I got here. So pretty nice along those lines. Even picked up one that was a Jack Daniels glass. So you had that there for Jack Daniels. So if I have a little bit of whiskey, and then she actually threw in one that was a little bit more, but she knocked it down to a dollar. So I don't know if I see it right here or not, but it was one of the ones from Ryan Guys, and it was basically their Ryan Guys dad glass. So that was a nice summer. Oh yeah, here it is. So this was actually for a little bit more of a price, but she just went ahead and gave it to me for a dollar. So there you go. That's some of the glasses that I picked up today. Let's get to some of the other beer. So ended up finding this one out here. This is Brewery, and this is their Trade Winds. So this one is a Belgian-style triple ale brewed with rice and Thai basil. So that should be kind of interesting. Big old bottle, like always with the brewery. Picked up uh, some platform beer, as you can see here. The High Brow Barista Coffee Rye Pale Ale. Also picked up, uh, doo -doo -doo. if I can get it out of the box. Rheingeist and their press tart. So a little bit of a sour beer there. And then the other one in this box is Platform again. It is their Torrential Downpour, which is their New England small batch IPA. So that should be good. Other box here picked up finally, because I hadn't had it before, the Buju Banton or whatever, or Burton Banton. Buju Banton was an old singer back in the day. But uh, Burton Banton from Dogfish Head. So I'm looking forward to trying that. And finally decided to pick up one of the uh, Dragons and Yum Yums. So I got one of those as well. And then inside these six packs, they're kind of just all mixed up because I bought some individual cans of things. We have the uh, Founders Solid Gold to kind of see what that actually tastes like. So I'll do that at some point here. Picked up a Eric and Bastard Ale which I've had before, but this was actually for the upcoming show next Wednesday on uh, Maxwell Star's channel when they do Eric and Bastard Ale for the show. So I'll be drinking that one. Uh, picked up some Mile High Brewing, their McPoyle. Have not had Mile High, but heard a lot of good things 
from them. So looking forward to trying that. This is another one of theirs, the Leroy as well, which is a American brown ale. And then I picked up, I picked up like three of each of those ones from Mile High. So the other ones I have here are special limited edition. Nowhere in particular, this is the batch number 21 double dry hopped IPA. And this is an ale brew with red raspberries, lemon, and <laughs> Enigma Hope. <laughs> Funny. So that's that one there. And the other one is also a limited edition. I get it out the can here, my fat fingers. It is from nowhere in particular. It is a double rice IPA, India Pale Ale. So that was the uh, beer run for today. Here's all the other boxes still down here with some different things in there as well. Although I am making some headway and I've got some in the fridge. So look out for these beers and for uh, certain individuals, they will be receiving some of these as well. So hopefully they too will enjoy and you'll see them probably on their channel. Thanks for swinging by, check out another video. Always remember there's always time, get your beer on. Cheers.